Let's go. Okay, well, welcome everybody. Here we are to watch two great uh, competitors, uh, Dragon Kuro and Darth Maul, both of which have beat their first opponents in the first round by five wins to one loss, which was uh, magnificent. Of course, granted, it, it seems like that they just dominated their opponents, but it was considerably closer for each one of them. I'm going to move. I am interested to see who's going to win this. They were both great competitors. Ladies and gentlemen, we're both going to start off with two characters. One Beowulf, one Cinderella. Oh, we got Robot Fortune. Quick change for Darth. Oh. Hello, Mr. Worf. Yes, yes, it is me, the Shadow. We have Darth Maul, Dragon Guru. They're fighting it out. Welcome, welcome, Worf. Hello. Enjoy the show. Dragon's definitely got the upper hand right now. I'm not sure what Dragon was worried about. And the first one, the first character of uh, Darth starting out. That was a great block against that ultimate right there. And the oh, first victory goes like straight to Dragon Kuro. Good job, Dragon. So what are you worried about, Dragon? I don't know. I'm hearing an echo from someone and I don't know from who it is. It can't be me. I don't have speakers. So. Uh, it is uh, Darth Maul. Uh, he's, uh, he, I think he has like uh, an open, uh, what do you call it? Uh, he doesn't have a mic. Basically, not not a. Uh, uh, he, the speakers are loud. And he doesn't have a focused mic on the, on the sound, so you know. Oh, okay. So basically, all the ambient sound is like oh, uh, heard over. So it's definitely not us. Soon to be champ. I I somehow doubt I will be champ. Oh. I will be lucky if I get past this round. I'm impressed I got past the first round. Shadow, you're gonna go against uh, uh, shields, right? Right. Yep. Awesome. I have no doubt in my mind that shields will kick my butt. <laughs> I don't wants. know, to be honest. That, that's gonna be a very interesting case of a fight. Alright. Uh, Sonora looks like the same characters again. We're gonna have consistency. <laughs> First hit by number dragon, but Darth comes back really quick. <laughs> this is gonna look like so far a nice even match. Loving it. Oh my goodness, that was a great combo from uh, Darth Maul Eva 6. That was wow. <laughs> I think that Darth just had to, like, you know, brush off those cobwebs. I think he just figured out some kind of crazy strategy with this uh, change. Ow, damn. Right in the corner with an ultimate there. Oh my gosh. How I did. Cerebella is very well known for the crazy damage by the new shadow. Oh, but here comes here comes Dragon back with his ultimate that didn't knock him back, so. Oh, and Cerebella's out for Darth! Both the Dragon's characters are very low in H HP, where uh, our fortune was just about full health and not anymore now. I see. It was a lot of good dodging, but I don't know if that was on purpose or. Wow, that was that was a good match. That was a very good match, guys. That was. I, I really thought Darth had that right in the bag from the beginning. 
he can still turn this around, I believe. He can, that's two to zero, though. Let's see. Is it gonna be one of those classic on. cases, you know? <laughs> I think the last time I saw a 5-0 was from uh, Shields and, uh, and Loop that played together. Jared Hype! Oh. This is Tuna with Bacon! Let's rock! <laughs> it looks like still staying with the same characters again. Jared <laughs> Start off nice and tight again. Start the uh, lead dragon to that attack. Oh, her flies with an ultimate there. Oh, attack team though. Oh my god. Wow! And Bill Wolf is down! Oh shit! Holy crap! Dragon is coming back though. There's, it's, it's almost even right now. All I'm gonna say is follow me, impressed. Nice block. Oh, ultimate Tanaka, our robot fortune. So down to one character piece. Dragon Scott Darth in the corner. Absolutely. Player one win. Wow. I'm so quiet, saving the day. <laughs> I will say I was impressed with what Darth Darth did there with that combo, the the, the combo attack. That, that, was, that, was a, that was a very close cool match. <laughs> Mr. Dre, hello. Welcome, welcome, my friend. How are you? So far we have, we have, we uh, have, yeah, we have uh, Dragon dominating the scene for moment. I believe in you, Darth. You can come back. <laughs> he has done it before. He might do it again. Very well, good, Dre. I was flying planes and we started this this fight here. <laughs> Oh my god. What the hell was that? Did you see that? I hit that motherfucker before. Start off a nice close again. Darth has got a little bit of a, a edge on Dragon again. Hello. <laughs> Felt nice and close, but there goes Salvellum for uh, Darth, though. <laughs> Oh, that was a that was a lucky dodge. He was. But in the end, did not matter. Darth lost on that one. Dragon still won. That's a wrap. But yep. that was close. That was. I mean, look at that bars. That we are. So we're definitely Wasn't down to, to what it would seem to be the possible final round right now. Can Dragon go five zero? We haven't had a lot of five zero was in the uh, in the tournament yet. Uh, we did have only two, I believe. Uh, actually, didn't you beat uh, Ward for five zero? If I remember right. I did. I did. So we also had Shields beating Bloop for five zero as well. Or I think it was a five one. 
Bop, 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 Ladies and gentlemen, it's Oh, No, I was just me and Marth. There's only five zero. Oh, I see. <laughs> that was luck on my part, so. One twenty and three guard. Oh, that was good right there. That's what Darth needs right there. Lord Dragon in. Oh, that was just bad timing in that one. Oh no. Sarabelle is down, so it's just on a one character left for Darth. <laughs> I'm okay. That's a good ultimate right there. I think it's too little too late. Yep. And that was a very, uh, as the game just said right now, that was a decisive win for Dragon Kuro. Congratulations hey. for advancing, my friend. Thank Dragon. you. Dragon. You, you still did great, Darth. I, I was backing you the entire way, but good, good. job. Yeah, and uh, I believe that Dragon actually just made it to the semi-finals, right? Let me double check on, yeah, the, yes. on the charts. I think yep, that will be semi-finals. Yeah, he made it to the semi-finals. Oh my god, Dragon, you are in the semi-finals, my friends. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> so, uh, let me let me just say real quick, uh, I did notice a few uh, setbacks in this fight uh, from uh, Darth Maul, and I think the biggest setback that he had was the fact that I think that Drop of Fortune definitely did, needed some extra work uh, on his part. Um, mm -hmm. Excellent work with Cerebella though, uh, nice tie-ins with the combos with the chainsaw and all that, but I think he just needed a little bit of work with Cerebella. Uh, no Cerebella with uh, Drop of Fortune. Uh, Dragon I, I kind of I kinda thought that's the same thing, because I just didn't feel like that was a character that Darth played very often, I don't remember that in the trainings. Yeah, uh, of course, uh, Darth Maul's 86 uh, schedule is also uh, a little tough because uh, he gets off work very late and I don't know, he, he has a quite constrictive uh, time schedule. Yeah. Uh, on the other hand, Dragon Kuro uh, has definitely sold remarkable marks of development and uh, that should be really acknowledged because he started on a very... Uh, Let's say, uh, he, he uh, uh, you were kind of negative, I believe, when you started to play the game, but I think you have developed to be quite a, uh, a well-rounded player, uh, Dragon, and I'm really proud of you for all the tough work you actually invested. Yeah, after, after you tortured me for hours. Yeah, and I was about okay, to get to that, that Dragon, okay. Dragon probably had one of the toughest, uh, tightest beatings by, uh, by my, my character, so, uh, yeah, though... No, it's no surprise that he, he made it like to this point right now. And that was, he's that was his birthday present to me was kicking my ass for the hour straight. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, yeah. Basically, that, that's how the the game rolls, guys. I mean, if you if you sit and get your ass kicked for uh, <laughs> for a steady amount of time, uh, in the end you're just developing to be. Uh, better in the game in general. So, uh, anyway, congratulations to both of you. For the, okay. for the good match. Uh, dragon, uh, well, of course. He's Absolutely. Good. Dra dragon, dragon now is, uh, I believe, he's gonna have one of the most challenging matches ahead because he's gonna go against either Zavlakas or Zordi. And yeah, depends on who's Lord. gonna win that fight. And I'm gonna go against oh. probably uh, Shadow or uh, Shields, depending on who's gonna win their match. On the same well, I mean, obviously, obviously, if, if Dragon's going up against Salvacus or uh, 
majority, I mean, that, that would be who do you have to go up against? Is, it's going to be Shields. Yeah, most likely. <laughs> it, it is a possibility. I don't, I don't know if Shields is actually working uh, in the background, but I believe that whoever actually made it to the stage 2, uh, it's advancing to stage 3 fights, uh, you guys should really work a little harder now that you are very close to the end line over there. Uh, because uh, whoever makes it, uh, even if I'm the final person you're gonna face, uh, the person who makes it to the end of the line, to the end of the tournament, is gonna win the prize regardless, win or lose. The, so the, only way, the only way I'm going to get to the ending is if uh, the people I'm going up against lose power and they don't get to make it to the match. <laughs> well, there's, don't worry, there is a, I'm trying my best. There is a really high probability you make it to the end, though, because uh, as far as I remember, it wasn't it? Who was your opponent? Was it Worth, right? You, you destroyed Worth in, uh, in, in, in like. like it, it was like such, so, such a brief fight. <laughs> That's all I remember. <laughs> it was well, a... Worth, and I, Worth and I only did one character a piece, though. We weren't doing multiple characters, so. It's true, kind of yeah, but still, faster. but still, I saw, I saw. A our, huge... our matches were still fairly yeah. quick. <laughs> or, 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 I mean, the, the matches were still very close. I think the only match that wasn't close is was the very first one. Other than that, there was a lot of times Worth was really close to winning. You are very close to mastering Bane Will, though. And that's that's an impressive feat, uh, by the way, for you, uh, Shadow. Because uh, let's let's, let's play also fighting games, yes. let's also acknowledge for a person who doesn't play fighting games, and you and Dragon have actually gone uh, like a long well. Yes, you gone through the mile and mastered the few characters that I I think I can't actually play any of your characters. I I'm, I'm very I'm terrible with Spain Will. I can't even touch Beowulf and Hell. I'm I don't even know what to do with Fuwa. So <laughs> so here we go. Um, of course, Darth Maul 86 invested time in Cerebella, but uh, fortunately he didn't invest enough time in uh, Robo Fortune, and uh, that showed. Uh, but however, if he makes it to the training uh, we're going to do after the tournament, uh, don't training actually, but friendly matches we're going to be holding once per week, uh, you guys are going to have an opportunity to see uh, Darth Maul 86 probably improving with uh, Robo Fortune as well. Oh, All right. I have no doubt in my mind, because just seeing how good he was with Cerebellum, I could, you know, if he gets a, a second character really well, he's going to be unstoppable. Hopefully, those combos, hopefully he, so. those, those combos he did with the two characters, I mean, that put a lot of hurt on Dragon. If he can keep doing that a bunch of times... Uh, Mister, uh, I just, I also, I also had a raid. Hello, Mister Matson. Thank you so much for raiding me with, with your crew over there. How, welcome, welcome, guys. How are you? What were you playing? Were you playing Resident Evil 4? Okay, so what I'm gonna say, guys, on a, on a final note is uh, that uh, Darth Maul is definitely gonna improve and uh, we're gonna be holding those friendly matches. If you guys are still feeling that, you know, giving the game that, you know, the little uh, spark of attention there, uh, unless you actually wanna, you know, drop it after the tournament, so it's 100% up to you, not Dragon cleanly said that he's gonna drop the game after the tournament but i can see him also winning the tournament as well because i can see that being a probability <laughs> he's, he's gonna be an addict to this game afterwards uh, uh, le le let's uh, <laughs> let's let's keep also uh in my in our minds dragon actually managed to score a few victories last time we did the uh, training by the way he managed to get me at least three four times yes. so yeah yes, like against 20, so yeah. <laughs> Still, it doesn't matter, man. I mean, I mean, you did get me a few times, that's what matters. I mean, uh, the question is, can you also get Zavlakas? <laughs> uh, I don't know. That's frequently very interesting. Oh I, mean, I was more hoping for a dragon versus uh, progenitor, because I was hoping to see the uh, uh, the Padawan defeat the master. You think so? I mean, uh, the, it is not it is not exactly unlikely to happen. I mean, if Dragon manages to uh, eliminate eliminate the rest of the competition, then definitely he can make it up to me. Uh, unless I get destroyed by somebody else in the middle, unless Shields gets somewhat uh, stronger and gets me. I'm oh. going to train Shields now. <laughs> Let's go train. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, 
Mr. Matson, I hope you are enjoying Doom 2016. Actually, I'm gonna replay that. I have it in schedule already. Uh, it's gonna take me seriously just one and a half stream because that game is not even too too long anyway. So, anyway, guys, uh, that's gonna be a wrap for today. By the way, Mr. Matson, thank you so much for the raid. But we're just wrapping up here. We just went through all the matches. Um, we have Dragon Guru, who's the clean winner of this fight with five with, uh, five wins. Zero losses and Darth Maul 86. He fought violently, but unfortunately, he did not invest enough time to his second character, so that caused him a horrible defeat. But it's fine because he uh, still has time to improve and give some love to this game. I hope you guys all keep giving love to this game because this game barely survived uh, elimination from existence because. Um, I don't know if you guys know it, but Skull Girls changed uh, two different uh, companies that own it right now. Hidden Variable is the one that has it now, and Lab Zero uh, was the previous company that owned that indie game. It's an indie game, by the way. I don't think you guys know that. It's not. It's not a big AAA game or anything. It's an indie game with a very fun uh, concept, uh, very beautiful characters. So yeah. Uh, you give some love to this game, absolutely, guys. Definitely worth it. It is a. It, 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 I say it's perfectly done. It's, it's a game that is. Uh, if you pay attention to the, to the to the skills and the stuff you can do, the characters, you know, the, the frames and all that, it is very well balanced. Actually, regardless of you know getting your ass kicked in it, it actually helps you. All right. <laughs> So uh, that would be all. Thank you again, guys. I love you so much, both of you. Of course, the cousin is very tired because he's uh, from uh, back from work right now at bed, and he should be <laughs> probably going to bed. And uh, rest. <laughs> absolutely, uh, cousin. Please, by all means, get some rest because I know you need it. Uh, I know he he definitely jumped in here right after work. I'm not sure if that actually was working against him. Uh, Again? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so Dragon, he says thanks. Oh, no yeah. problem. Thank you for fighting me and letting me win. Appreciate it. <laughs> okay, uh, by the way, Dragon, I uh, want you to give uh, kind, re uh, kind regards to your uh, brother as well, who's an amazing guy. I uh, had uh, the, the luck to play with your brother in, uh, in Don't Start Together. That was uh, I really appreciate him for what he did in that game. Uh, yeah, I will tell him. Yeah, he, he's, he's, he's a great dude. I, I do hope we get to play more games with him. <laughs> All right. Shadow, thank you so much for your uh, for you being here with us. Thanks for having me. And uh, Shadow, what, what is going to be your next uh, game you're going to play, by the way? Deadly Premonition uh, must be coming to an end, right? It's getting very close. I'll, I'll be starting Retro Month shortly. Also, you'll be doing like different uh, ADS games or something? I, I'm going to be playing some older games. Yep, I've got two games that I'll be uh, doing for the month of May that are older games. Uh, one I have never played before in my life, and uh, I have been requested a couple times to play it. So, ah, uh, that sounds great. Uh, what about you, Dragon? Uh, Tales of Arise, I guess, is going to be going for a couple months, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, I would say it's not as long as Trail Spin, so it's not like a hundred-hour game. As far as I understand, it's like sixty hours so or so game. So. That one is not going to take me six months, like, okay. <laughs> but it's going to be for a while. And instead of deciding what to play after Control, I was thinking maybe go back to Switch games and play Bayonetta. Probably. Oh, Bayonetta. So, uh, we're talking about Bayonetta 1 or 2? 3. Oh, uh, 3, yeah. There was, a, there was also a third game, right? right. Yeah. Oh, you did beat well, the... Then they had a spin off game, too. They made yeah, a spin off game. That. It's also packed and new. <laughs> Uh, by the way, for your information, guys, uh, Darth Maul 86 currently he's playing uh, uh, Wolfenstein Youngblood. Let's say uh, that Wolfenstein Youngblood is more like the bad blood of this uh, of this uh, franchise. He is playing it, but unfortunately, he's not a streamer. But even if I push him, be but... <laughs> gonna force him. I, I I'm trying to force him, but it doesn't happen. He, his time is very limited. <laughs> but hopefully, hopefully, one day he will stream a horror game and you're gonna witness uh, his. Uh, yeah, how, how fun he is when he plays stuff on like Resident Evil 2, for example, or Resident Evil 4, because he's. Uh, he's quite a scaredy cat. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, that, that was fun, 